Hello and welcome to my lovely sonnet makeover. For today's drab to fab video, I'm going to be featuring the brand new decoupage paper from the Bells and Whistles line at Dixie Bell. As always, when beginning any furniture project, I always clean with white lightning or pristine clean. I then proceed to do a slight sand scuff to my project. This project will require slick stick. This is my gripping primer for slick or shiny surfaces. After two coats of slick stick and waiting 24 hours, you're finally ready for paint. For this project, I wanted to do a complementary color to the decoupage paper. I started out with a beautiful pink ombre. I covered the entire piece with one coat of pink champagne. This will be my base color. For this ombre blend, I started with peony in the recessed areas, then moved into tea rose, blended in with the pink champagne, as well as a tiny bit of French linen. After all of this big, beautiful pink blending, I sat there and looked at my piece. I decided I needed to change it. I moved away from the pinks and changed out my entire color scheme. So consider this just practice for pink ombre blending. It's just paint. You can always paint over top of it if you decide that you don't like the way that it's turning out. This beautiful orange combo is going to be a much better mix for the new paper. So here we go again, ombre blending, this time with three new colors. Apricot, terracotta, and lemonade, all blended together with my best dang brush. Keeping your best dang brush damp and using a separate brush for each color will be essential for this ombre blend. When you choose three like-minded colors very close together on the color wheel, you're able to blend in a more seamless fashion. The colors just move together quite easily, and when you keep that brush damp and use it in a small circular motion, this becomes a very easy job. After waiting for your paint to dry, you're finally ready to apply your decoupage paper. This paper is called the Lovely Sonnet. It's from the Bells and Whistles line. This is new from the Spring 2023 collection. Cut your paper with scissors to the size that you need for your project. Using a clean, dry brush, apply your clear coat to your project right over top of the painted area. I like to be a little bit heavy handed when applying this clear coat. The more product you apply, the easier it will be to place your paper. Once you've applied the clear coat to the entire area, gently place down your paper. If you put it down in the wrong spot, you're simply able to pick it up from the edges and reposition it as necessary. I like to start in the center and blend out another coat of clear coat right over top of the decoupage paper. This is going to allow you to push any bubbles and wrinkles out as you move along. For this project on this small cabinet, I used one entire piece of decoupage paper from the Lovely Sonnet. After my paper has dried, I came back in with some of the peony and added it around the edges to blend it in. This is a great way to make the details just pop. 
I added some beautiful gold gilding wax and some apricot and lilac chameleon wax. For a final touch, I used my gold gilding wax and covered the entire feet. You can seal your entire project with wax or clear coat. Thanks for watching my Dixie Bell makeover today. I'll see you again next time.